John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and I'm back from a bit of a break, and it was a really good break to uh, spend with family, and uh, that was uh, good to get away and uh, enjoy some time off. So I'm back here with another video for you, and I just wanted to share with you some of the knives I've been carrying lately. Thought uh, I would just do that general kind of video here. Um, there are several of these. So let me start with, first of all, the Victorinox. This is really the only one I've been carrying recently. Um, this is the Tinker. Uh, this is my uh, uh, go-to um, Victorinox model for carrying uh, most of the time. Uh, it's got the 3D printed scales by Walter. Uh, I put a clip on it, of course, and uh, everybody knows the Tinker. It's got the screwdriver here on the back, the awl, and the pin here. We've got plus scales on this one with a ink pen, pressurized toothpick tweezers. And I use the screwdriver. I use the awl on this. Uh, it has the opening layer. I'd use this occasionally. I uh, use the blades, um, typically the spare pin blade most of the time. You can see it's got some um, some tape on it or whatever. So, um, and it's got a light. So I've got a backup light on this one. And so that makes a really nice, like second or tertiary um, carry for me. So um, I really enjoy this one. I have an Explorer that I really want to carry here sometime uh, soon, but I really haven't carried it a whole lot. So anyway, so that's my sack. Um, for the moderns, let's talk about the moderns. Well, I got this in a trade uh, with Singing Toad, um, and he sent me this Benchmade Mini Griptilian, um, and it's got the, um, I think it's CPM, yeah, 154CM is the blade steel. Um, you can see there the Benchmade logo, uh, Mel Pardue uh, design. There's the pocket clip. I did change the lanyard out again because it was, the other one was just too long, but uh, same basic bead from uh, Jedi Jim. And I love this knife. Um, I can't get this out of my pocket. Um, it's just a nice fidget, fidget toy, that's for sure. But um, it's an excellent EDC knife. I've wanted one of these for years, and uh, thank you to Seating, Singing Toad for the great trade. And um, I traded him some leather work for that. Another trade, these other two were both trades from Chris, um, a uh, subscriber and uh, a friend and leather customer. I've really done a lot of leather work for him recently. Uh, but this, it just came in recently and I've been carrying it some. This is the Kershaw Leak. And uh, it's got that design there. And he told me what model this was, so like a special model or something, but I can't remember now. But I think this is, um, well, I think it has the, this is April 80. I don't know what that, I don't know what the markings are on all this yet. I'm still getting to know this knife. But I think this is um, a 14C28 in steel on these and it's assisted opening uh, this is a usa made uh, kershaw and as you can see right there very popular model and he put some of this grip tape this is like a grip tape for um, firearms and he put that over the side of the scale i think there was a design like this on the side that was kind of wearing off and so he covered that up and i think he did a great job with it. i think it looks great it adds a lot of grip to this knife. And I like this, very slim in the pocket. Now with this being tip up like this, there's a lot sticking up, but it kind of molds into the corner of your pocket. So it's really not bad. If you don't have a Kershaw leak, you really ought to try them out. Excellent EDC knife, I really enjoy it. I have another one actually that has a broken tip that I reprofiled. I got it for like 10 bucks. And um, I really enjoy it too. But so I've been carrying that some. Also from Chris in a trade in the past, I got the Civivi Mini Praxis. Um, this is one of my go-to uh, modern knives. I love this knife. I think this is 
maybe the perfect EDC knife. Um, just a perfect size. Uh, most of these are right at three inches or just a little bit under as far as the blade length. Um, let me get the ruler there, right? You can kind of see. And the other two are about that size too. I don't like a real big knife. So um, these are just perfect for me. This is flipper only. I think there's ball bearings in there, but he also modded the scales on this one and he did a fantastic job. I think this was the originally the 310 or the G10 scales uh, with green. I think they were green G10, so he modded them. So there's the sack and the moderns. Those are really the only moderns I've been carrying. I've got a mini sheepdog that I got in a trade from Chris. I'm really wanting to carry it too, uh, so I will carry it in the future. Okay, as far as the traditionals, uh, the first one is not a slip joint. It is a double detent uh, locking mechanism. This is the Kershaw, another Kershaw, a USA made. This is the Federalist. And I got this as a gift from uh, Mo at Kirby, uh, Kirby Creek Outfitters, uh, Kirby Creek Mo, And uh, he sent this to me. I was a uh, part of a giveaway from Mickey over at Hillbilly, Hillbilly Ridge Outdoors. I've got a bead on here from RDS Wood Turning and Acrylics, uh, J.O. Ventures Outdoors, isn't that cool? With a little leather lanyard. This is a green canvas mark micarta. Again, one, uh, 154 CM steel, or CPM 154. So I don't know how that differs from the steel on the uh, Benchmade, but anyway, good steel. And I love that blade shape. And I love the action on this. Um, some people, you know, don't prefer the double detent. I can understand they want a true slip joint, and I probably prefer a slip, per, uh, a true slip joint. Um, but I like this. I like this knife a lot, and I do carry it. So there's that one. One that's been in my pocket more than any is this Baron Sun. Um, this is the four inch Barlow. Uh, you can see there, Baron Sun. Um, and uh, don't have my light on. Hold on a second. How many videos have I not had that light on? There we go. That was a little better. Um, so 154 seat. Uh, this is the Baron Sun Barlow with CS steel, uh, carbon steel, made in the USA. I guess I'm a little rusty on the videos here. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but it's got that great sheep's foot blade, carbon steel. You can see she's got the teeners and um, half stop walnut covers. I love this one. I bought that at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I love that one. The other one that I, I love to carry is my case, uh, mahogany jig bone uh, sodbuster junior in the carbon steel. I uh, bought this at Ossian Hardware in Ossian, Indiana at the Case Knife event. Um, this is the one that made a trip back to WR Case and Sons for some service. And uh, now she's in pretty good shape. Still a little bit of blade play, but very, very slight. And uh, nice action and uh, much better than before. And I use that a lot. I, I really love to carry that knife particularly. So... Um, one I've also been carrying a traditional recently is this one right here. I found this at the flea market over here, um, our local flea market. This is a John Primble um, belt nap uh, hardware um, jackknife. And I'm trying to remember, I think this is from the 70s. Uh, there's a wide year range of when these were made, but just look at the quality on this knife. This, I just love this knife. And I got this with Big J. He came over and did some shopping with me at our flea market. And I just love the jigging on the handle, the color of that. Um, where's the slip I usually carry that in? Well, uh, this one right here. I can uh, often carry it in this one right here and they just match really nicely. and. This goes right down in. So, yeah, that's a great carry. I love carrying that John Primble. 
And then last, but certainly not least, a Rosecraft. Rosecraft Blades a Nola Chucky Jack. This was a gift from RW. I've been carrying this recently. This has been in my pocket. I love it. I tend to, I tend to go towards the single blade um, traditionals, as you can see, except for the John Primble. And I do love my Stockmans. And I've got a couple Stockmans that I like to carry occasionally, but usually it's a single blade. This is D2 steel. Beautiful spear point blade. I love that handle material or, you know, cover material or whatever. It's got just beautiful bone. I think that's, um, I don't know, mossy brown uh, something or another, but <laughs> it's just a beautiful color. I'll put the name up there on the screen, but yeah, that's a, that's a great carry. And one of my favorite slips is this one right here. In fact, I carry this and the Baron Sun in this particular slip. They both fit in there just perfect. And um, so just an awesome carry. Well, that's what I've been carrying recently. Um, and uh, I need to get off of here. We're at 11 minutes or past so far. Um, and uh, just really appreciate you all supporting the channel. And I thank you all for watching.